Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, I'm Shane, and you can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, make sure if you haven't already to follow Adam Leering on Twitter as well, the newest member of the Code Karate team. Today we're going to be going over the Node Block module, and this is probably one of the simpler modules you'd use, but it does have some some really useful purposes, especially if you need to allow uh, maintainers of the site or if you're building a site for a client and you want that client to be able to change the content of blocks without actually giving them access to the block administration page. So you can do that using the node block module. So I already have this module dropped in on our development site here so we're going to go ahead and turn it on. So go ahead and enable that and the way it works is pretty simple you simply create a content type and you there's a setting to allow it to be a block and then as soon as you enable that any content you create under that content type will be available for you to move in the blocks administration page so if I come back to structure and I create a content type we will create a content type called node block the important setting here is this node block settings you're going to want to make sure you select enabled here you can also change the default view mode so if you'd like to select different view modes so the content shows up a little differently you can do that using the view mode here if you want to show or hide the links by default it's hidden and in most cases you're probably going to want to keep that the same and the same with comment display. You're probably going to want that hidden, but you could have it shown as well. There are options to override on a per node basis, which would allow you to change this when you're creating the node. For instance, if you selected available as a block, when you're creating a node, you're going to be able to change if you actually want this node to be a block or not. Since I'm only going to be using this for blocks specifically, I'm going to leave all those unchecked. So we can go ahead and click save content type. Now if I come back and add content and I'm going to add a node block content so I'll add just a quick little node I'm going to not put this on the front page and I will save it. Now you can see this looks pretty much the same. If I come back to the blocks administration page, here's when I was testing. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. But if you look down here, there'll be a highlighted content which just takes the title of or the node title and uses that as the block title and you can go ahead and change that to wherever you want in your blocks display and if we save that so I put that in the highlighted area which should show up on the top of every page you can see now it's highlighted content if we go back to the home page you'll see that my highlighted content just shows up you can come in and edit the block and actually brings you to edit the actual node itself so I'm going to do a couple things I'm going to go to the content types page and go into edit our node block and let's say for instance we didn't want to display the author and date information we could change that click Save if we come back to the home page now you can see the author and date information is no longer displayed so it looks more clo it more closely resembles a block now. There are a few other things you can do. If you come into the content types page and you go to manage display, if you had additional fields you could change how this is displayed or you could of course add a new display such as the full con or the RSS feed or search index and that'll just 
basically allow you to have finer control over the display of this. If you need a simple block though, the default settings are fine and will work for you. You can go ahead and move it to other locations just to see that it works. If I move it over into sidebar first, it is of course going to show up over in the sidebar. This way uh, your client is able to use just the normal content adding and content editing features of Drupal without having to learn anything about blocks which can be confusing especially if you haven't spent a lot of time with Drupal sites. So it's just one way to make your client's life easier or make website management of blocks easier for users who don't want to really get into detail with how Drupal works. So go ahead and give that a try and let me know what you think. Make sure to follow me on Twitter and sign up for the Code Karate newsletter over here on the left sidebar if you haven't already of the CodeKarate.com website. Until next time, we'll see you later.